Hi everyone. In the last video, we took a look at co-management and specifically managing Windows updates for co-managed devices using Intune. So we did some feature updates and that kind of thing. So in this video, we're going to look at the servicing of Office 365 or now Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise um, using Intune. So first, we need to deploy Office. I'm going to use a, a config manager deployment of Office because my workloads have, have been only specified as uh, Intune for updates rather than for apps. So we'll do a config manager deployment of, of Office first, and then we'll jump into Intune and configure that update channel so that it automatically updates that, that version of Office. In order to do that, we'll need to be deploying an older version of Office in Config Manager so that it can update to a later version in the same video. So first up, we'll just go into the console. We'll start up in the File Explorer and we'll create a location to put our Office 365 Okay, so now we've done that, we're just going to head over into our Office 365 Client Management section of the software library and then over into Office 365 Installer. So here we are. Just tap in these details. And here we have to click on this little button to take us to the Office customization tool so we can do the configuration of this version of Office. So let's run through this. So we're going to use the 64 bit because we are fairly modern. And we're going to choose the Office product. And we're going to go for Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. We're not going to install Visio as part of this whole project, so I'll just skip through those. And we're not going to have uh, Office 365 runtime, access runtime, or a language pack. I'm going to keep this very simple for this demonstration. So we're going to select the semi-annual channel, but I want to select a version that's fairly old. So I'm going to go with 2008-21064. Uh, and I don't want access or any of those difficult things to play with, so we'll take all of these things out. Uh, yeah, and that's good. Okay. Not keen on this background service for Microsoft Search and Bing, so we'll leave that out and choose Next. Primary language for me is English United States. Closest we can get. And then we'll choose Next. And we, we haven't got any Office apps installed at the moment, so I don't need to worry about shutting down any running applications or removing any previous versions. So let's keep that nice and simple. Choose next. We're going to auto accept the user agreement. And we're going to use user based product activation because each user who logs into Office will have a license. Choose next. And give it a name. And choose next. I'm not going to set any specific settings for these applications. So we'll just choose finish and then review. So this one here about using the open, the Office Open XML formats, these will support all the features of Office. So I'm, I'm not going to be using Office in this installation, but it's good to know that I set the right one. So we'll choose OK. And this is our settings that we've chosen. Scrolls quickly through this to make sure it's all good and then choose submit. And that will pop that straight into our installation wizard here. We'll choose next. And we do not want to deploy the, this application right now because I haven't got a device in the collection for this for, for, for deployment. So we'll just choose next and next. And what this is going to do is it's going to go away to the internet and download that content from the Microsoft update service to grab that latest content or the specific content I wanted for my office installation. And it's going to put that on the site server in the location we specified. Let's take a look at how it's going. So as you can see, it's just started downloading some of this stuff. And if you go into here, it's, it's, it's pulling this data down. So let's give that a few minutes to complete. Okay, great. So that's done. So we'll choose close and we'll just check that it's put all the content in this right place. And there we go. Okay. So that's all there. Just for information, we'll see how big this actually is. So 3.36 gig. Very good.
Right, so next I want to make sure I've got a collection for this computer. I'm going to create an application installation collection. It's just the way I like to do it, you don't need to do it this way. But I'm going to find my co-managed device and pop that in the right collection. This is Lucy's computer here. And right click, add selected items to existing collection. I'll choose my Office 365 collection here. And then while that's doing that, I will head back into the software library, application management, and find the Office application that was created for me. There it is there. So I'm going to need to do two things. I need to distribute the content to my distribution points. In this case, it's going to be the cloud management gateway and my primary site server. So I'll do that. And while that's distributing, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this to my new application installation collection. So this is the software we're going to be deploying. And this is the collection that we're deploying it to, to device collection. Put it in the root, and there he is there. That's app install Office 365. Choose OK, and then Next. And these are the distribution points that theoretically will have that applic application content shortly. Choose Next. And it's going to be an available installation, so I can uh, sh choose when to install it. I'll choose Next and Next. And uh, I'm quite happy to see all of the notifications so I can see that while we're doing the demonstration. Choose next. And then next again, and then next and finish. Okay. So if we head down to the content status, you can see it's still deploying this content, distributing this content to the, to the cloud management gateway and to the primary site server. I'll click into content status and monitor that so that we know when it's done. Okay, so the content has been distributed to my primary site server. It's not surprising, it's, it's on the same machine, so it shouldn't take too long. The cloud management gateway content is still taking a little while to send up to the cloud. I'm going to just connect my test machine to the internal domain network rather than the, the internet just for this demonstration to get that installation happening a little bit quicker. All right, so it says the office installation is finished. So we'll choose close and then just take a look at what's installed. I'm going to open up Word. we'll just make sure we know the version of the Office installation right now so that we can make sure it's updated in the future. So at the moment we're using 13127-21064. I won't remember that so I'll take a quick picture so that we can verify that afterwards. So while I was editing this video I realized it was a bit too long and, and, and drawn out for what we were trying to do. We were, we were installing Office via Config Manager which was a, a pretty big step in itself, and that's been covered in quite some detail. So that's good. I didn't want to try and cover servicing Office via Intune because that's a completely separate piece. We'll keep that for a second part. For now, if you've liked this video, if it's helped you out, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and leave a comment. As I say, we're going to be creating more content really soon. I'll get that next part to you as soon as I can, and we'll release it next Tuesday.